What's up, Asa Babes? It's your girl, Joy, back with another banger. <laughs> I have been gone a long time. I guess I've just been tired. Honestly, I haven't been in a mood to vlog, but it's always on my mind to do. But school has been pretty overwhelming. And then when I get home, I'm either doing more schoolwork or I am just tired. I know Saturdays, I don't like to get out of my bed at all. And then Sunday starts my work week. So, whew, it's just been, it's been, I would say it's, it's, it's been a good school year so far, but then I still have, you know, my moments of when I wish the kids wanted more for themselves. And I don't know, maybe it's the middle school stage, and it's not all students, not not at all, but many of them, I just wish they wanted that knowledge and that thirst. And as teachers, sometimes we feel as though we work harder, well we do, we work harder than the students. And that's not how teaching should be. So it's just, it's just, it can be exhausting. But I think as far as relationships with parents and connecting with parents, I think this has been my best year so far. Um, all the parents have been wonderful. Um, they've been understanding. And I think it's because I've humanized myself. And, you know, I'm pretty cool anyway, but I've humanized myself that I'm a human being. I love your children. You know, I want to partner with you. And so I don't send emails, really. I try to update them what's going on in our class through video. So I'll do little videos and stuff like that. So I think that has helped keeping them abreast of what's going on. I've been trying to do better uh, with grades and so on and so forth. But it's like we have so much work to cover and so much to do. We just got to keep going. We got to keep going. We got to keep shaking and baking, shaking and baking. <laughs> There's never enough time. Sometimes the bell rings. I'm like, oh, my God. And I know I set up reminders on my watch. I have to double check because my, my alarms haven't been going off, which gives me 10 minutes before each class. Or I set it up for five and it's still never enough time. But the kids are still adorable. I love all the students. Did y'all see my little outfit today? <laughs> so I love all the students. They are super, super sweet. I don't have any disrespectful students. They're all kind. And plus, I think when you give respect, you get respect. And yeah, they're all really sweet. Um, so I don't have any students like that. But what I do have, I have some students who are not motivated to do their work. And it's like, we try so hard and try engaging lessons, uh, uh, group stuff, and, and it's just like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> and I'm like, but you now you're failing, I don't care. You know, so that's pretty sad. Whereas when I said I wish the kids wanted more for themselves. And once again, it's not all of them, but it's just some of them. But it's still disheartening. And so I had to do a mass email because there was no way I could call or that I was calling about 70s parents. Who, who's doing that? So I called a few and then I sent the email and then reattached my latest video update. And all the parents were understanding. One parent was like, uh, I don't think that this is my child. I think you put too much. I was like, no, this is just from this week, ma'am. <laughs> she was like, oh, yeah. And some people say, some students say, oh, you give us a lot of work. I was like, not really because it's work that you should have done in class. So sometimes I take it for just um, a grade. Um, there's stuff we do in class, like your reading log. Um, that's a grade at the end of the week. Have you been doing it? You, it should have been done in class. So there's a lot of stuff I feel as though 
is n not that time consuming in my mind. Um, I'll get them bell work and it'll be bell work for five days. I said you can complete this at your leisure. You can do it one a day or you can sit your tail down and do it all in one day. And if you did all five days of bell work, they little short, 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 cute little activities to work on a skill that we need. Um, it, it may take you maybe 20 minutes. So I think what I think it is, is the time management. And I will say I dropped the ball with my digital planner because I didn't have um, computers or Chromebooks for all the kids. So I didn't have that. So I just got my Chromebooks. But baby, my Chromebook card, mm -mm, it gives me anxiety. I don't even want to touch it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. It gives me anxiety just looking at it. And so they don't have any more of the other Chromebook cards, which I really have no real estate. So I wish this worked, but it doesn't. It doesn't. And I, I can't even look at it. I just see the chaos when I think about giving out those Chromebooks. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Oh, here's the Chromebook card. It's cute, small, cute, and it fits here perfectly. But then when you open it here, your Chromebooks, look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. This gives me anxiety. And then how am I gonna assign Chromebooks to the students when they all stacked on top of each other like this? I, 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 and then if this gets tangled and we lose, a, 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 mm -mm, I, I can't do it. I, I just, did you see that? That blows my mind. And I think I got this last week. That gives me anxiety. I, mm -mm. So, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. That, mm -mm. So, other than that, things have been going well. Lessons have been going well. The kids are working on a personal narrative. And what happens, there is a time and a deadline for the personal narrative. So, you really have to keep up. You have to keep up. You have some things you have to do at home because there's not enough time at school. I think with um, with my class, with English, we teach reading and we teach writing. Then we have to teach all this craft. There's so many things to teach and it's really not enough time in 52 minutes. And then 10 minutes, 15 minutes of that time, we read. So now we're down to what, 35 minutes, 35, 40. Yeah, we're down to about 35 minutes. And then as the kids come in, they need to get settled. Da, 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 da. That's about five minutes. And then I still wipe down desks. So they wait in the hallway until I wipe down the desk before they come in. So that's still, it's not enough time. So therefore I have the kids do, you gotta, we gotta do this at home. Yes, did we have enough time in the class? No, we didn't. There is not enough time. So it's like they're, they're allergic to homework or doing something extra or trying really hard. Is this for a grade? Is this for a grade? Yes, everything is a grade. <laughs> and so, but the one thing that really burns my biscuits, the one thing that really burns my biscuits is that these many of the kids not all most of them could sing and know the words to this song that song that rap know all the words they know the words they know all the latest taking the top dances they know this dance that dance they know all of that but have them memorize some grammar have them memorize the four types of sentences. Can't do it. Can't do it. And I was like, it requires you to study. It requires you to put just a little bit of effort. Get some index cards. My daughter, Bobby, she was the index card queen. And she will have her stuff organized by semester. Mm-hmm. So, and I said, do you want index cards? Do you want this? You know, help me help you. And we've been working on certain skills for well over a month, and you still don't have it? Mm-mm. Don't say it's me.
please don't put that on me. We've played games. We've played Kahoot. We've played physical touch games. We've uh, clapped hands. We've hopped on one foot. I've sent home copies and resources, put them in uh, Google Slides, put them on the wall, put them outside, outside the door, put it on the ground outside in, um, in dry erase marker and the custodians won't clean it up. They know that that's my stuff. So what more can I do? So I don't know. Don't put that on me or another teacher. Don't put that on teachers. These kids have to take responsibility and ownership for something. That's how I feel. And we are working our tails off and we want them to learn. That's the thing, we, we want them to learn. We want them to grasp these skills and the love of reading, the love of math, the love of history, the love of science. We want them to do that. I don't know. I just don't know. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Only thing I haven't done, I haven't done any backflips. That's the one thing I haven't done. I'm even resorting to writing on the ground in the hallway as they wait. It's written on the ground. It's been there for well over a month. I went and added stuff to it yesterday the different types of sentences. So it's always in their face. Then I started hanging up stuff around the room. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, I moved that. Then I went as far as, and this is out in the hallway too, when they wait online, you got something to read. <laughs> um, wrote down all the assignments that I do. Then I went as far as only doing the IDs, no kid's name, because nobody's not supposed to know your ID. All the grades, all the red areas where you're missing. So they can't say they didn't know. I call the name out every day. Uh, we, we, if I call your name, you're missing an assignment. Two, three, four, or more. You're missing something. So you know. And I'm starting to take it personal. I'm starting to take it personally. Because I don't want my grade book looking like that. So it's like. The teachers keep trying different things, different things. The teachers are trying, the teachers are trying. Administration is whipping you, whipping you. Well, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What is the kid doing? Why is it always us? We are doing the small group, the pullouts, the, the games, the physical games, just to reach the auditory games, to, to reach all types of learners. Partnering up, teaming up, grouping up. It's always with the teacher, with the teacher, with the teacher. But who should be accountable at the end of the day? Well, I got here at 6.30. I'm supposed to be here at 8. I get here early every day to work. When I leave here and go home, I go home, I might eat, I might not, and then I work. Then I go to sleep. I get maybe four or five hours of sleep. Then I come here early to work. When I'm in class, if I can squeeze it in, I try to squeeze in a little bit of work on my, during lunch, sometimes I work. My little 30 minutes, that's really not 30 minutes. I work. So I work before school, during school on my duty-free lunch, after school, and I had a dream about school last night. A student complaining why he's failing. Said, I give, you give me too much work. I'm like, bruh, half the stuff we do in class. I said, you want to argue with me, but you have done no work the past two weeks? Zero. You don't have no right to, to say nothing. So, 
I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I was saying last night. I should have one day where I just say, I don't know. The whole day. The kids ask me something. I don't know. Well, what is such and such? Do Is this assignment? I don't know. What's the date? I don't know. The date is written about four different places around the room. So, um, how do I do this? I don't know. Do you have another copy? And I already gave you two. I don't know. Can I go to the bathroom? I don't know. Can I do this? I don't know. Can I sit here? I don't know. I should do that. I wish I had an I don't know day. I don't know. Well, where's your homework? I don't know. That's what we get. Well, did you study? I don't know. I had one girl told me her dog ate her packet. She sat here and, and did nothing. Those packets, I said, don't lose them. There are no more copies. The packet is maybe 20 pages. Do you know how long it took me to make those copies? Do you know how long it took me to put and organize the different things so they had their stuff? Do you know how long I had to wait for the copy machine, I had to do half one day after I waited 40 minutes for the copier because one was broke. And then I had to stay late another day and make the other half of the packet so the kids would have a full packet. And then you just like, oh, I lost it. Do you have another copy? I don't know. No, I do not. You better get with a friend and make a copy of theirs. There are no more copies. No, I told you not to lose it. You need to hold on to that like glue. And I pull little grades from the packet too. You got to be responsible. I know. I was ranting today. We feel what we feel. We are human. And it's just disheartening. Oh, I feel get a little emotional when we do and we want and we try harder than our students because we want the best for them. And that's what's disheartening and, and really sad. It's really sad and it can be exhausting. You know, like your own children, if you have children, how you want the best for them. You want them, you want great things for them. That's how I feel about my students. I want the best. I want them to grow. I'm, I'm an English teacher, so yes, I want them to love words. And we're working on writing. Now we're getting into the writing. They was like, oh, um, I fell out of the bed. I said, no, 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 no. There are so many ways you can say I fell out of bed in a creative way. So I said, no, let's, let's think of different ways to say simple things. And you want to throw in some, I'm not going to go into a lesson, but now I think um, the creative part of words is going to start to emerge from these babies. And I'm really excited about that. And don't get me wrong, there are some amazing students and we wish we had a room full of those kind of students because you can see the passion in them and the love for them of learning and doing what they're supposed to do. And then you have a huge handful who don't. And like I said, I have really been blessed this year. And I know I'm on a rant. I have really been blessed this year with amazing and supportive parents. But I've had some years where they beat us down, talked to us like dogs. I, it, it, it was rough. It, it was rough. But I feel blessed with all of my students that I have and the parents. So... I just wish, again, I just wish the students wanted, most of the students wanted more for themselves and was passionate and passionate about their education as I am as passionate for them. So, that's all I have. It's like I, I had that on my spirit and I just needed to get it out. <laughs> and get it out mm. uh -huh. and I say a prayer every day mostly every day um, to give me patience to give me the knowledge and the creativity to teach the students and to continue to have that joy in my heart and that love in my heart for every student and really patience and kindness 
And I do pray for that, that I can, you know, still exude those things and give those things to the students. Okay. With that said, it's seven o'clock now. I gotta get my water, work on some paperwork that's due, and get my day started. All right, with that said, so maybe I'll use this day for kids to work on stuff in class so they could catch up. But they are down, today is Wednesday, they are down 20 points. So each day, the item is late. After the third day, 30 points, we, we don't have to accept it. But like I said, I don't want my grade book looking like that. Mm -mm. So with that said, get this video a thumbs up or not. Um, it was just a release for me to get this out of my heart and off my chest. So, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. I love you. And keep your head up and don't give up. Keep your head up and don't give up no matter what. I'm not giving up, but that doesn't mean I don't feel a certain way. Okay.